When looking at a professional security solution, we always think about what's easy to install, what's easy to use for not only the installer, but also the end user. And trying to find a complete ecosystem for it to be installed in either residential or business. It just makes it easier when you have one platform to control everything. That's why integrated systems are so popular. And that's what Ajax kind of revolutionized the security world with, is with the Alarm wireless solution. They started with Alarm, then they introduced Smart Home solution, and more recently, they introduced a video surveillance solution to their line, making it a big ecosystem where you can have pretty much every kind of security you need for your business. And today we'll look at their new NVR, so it comes in an 8 and 16 channel, and the camera will be later introduced, so it's not yet on the market in North America, but we have the NVR, and we'll look at it right away, because this NVR is special in the sense that it integrates any third-party camera that respect the Onviv protocol. So you don't need only an Ajax camera to work on there. If you have already a camera system, it will probably work on the Ajax NVR. One additional point, this is NDA compliant. So all video solutions from Ajax are NDA compliant. Let's get to it. All right, so what's in the box? What does it look like? Honestly, if you ever played with Ajax, you know they always have some slick designs. So really minimalistic, nothing complicated at all. So first off, your user manual, always keep that in N. The way you can do it is either read or you can scan the QR code right there with your phone and you will have access to their user manual on their website. Then it comes with cables. So inside here we have a Cat5 cable and the power cable too. So that's great. And the main course, the NVR itself. So as I mentioned, always a slick look. As you can see, nothing on the outside. Everything is packed inside the NVR. So one thing to note is that the NVR does not come with a HDD inside. So you will need to buy an HDD to put inside your NVR. And also, you will see right there, so you push towards you and it will open. As you can see here, push and then just flip. And there you have it. So now we installed already the HDD. Really simple to do, I will show you in just a second. Another thing that comes is some screws to secure the HDD inside your NVR. And the way you put the HDD in is simply by using the latch on the side of it. So as you can see here, you have a small handle, you push on it and you put it up. So this way you can insert the HDD inside the NVR and to lock it in, you just push it down and you will hear a small click and that means that the HDD is secured. So really easy to use right there. Underneath you have a reset button right there. So this is not yet active. It's coming in another update for firmware for the NVR. We will test it in future videos. My thinking it will be a factory default of your NVR right there. You have your QR code to enroll the NVR inside your Ajax application and the connection are right below. So here we have the RJ45 input to put your cable in. And on the other side is the power that for your cable. And you can take both cables and bring them out of the NVR. Now, as I mentioned before, and you probably looked at it and saw it too, there are no PoE ports inside this NVR. So it's important to have an external PoE switch to connect your cameras. So HDD doesn't come with the NVR, PoE switch doesn't come with the NVR. So make sure you have those before doing your installation. Now we're going to enroll the NVR to the Ajax application. So first thing to do is put your cables in first because you don't want to move too much the NVR when it's powered in because you're using an HDD. The disc is turning. So you don't want to be flipping the NVR left and right because it can break the HDD pretty uh, easily. 
All right, guys, so I put in the power for the NVR. I put the PoE switch on the table connected to internet, and now I'm gonna connect my NVR. And as you can see, so always be careful with the R drive, but right now we have a red light. That means that there is no connection to the NVR itself. So when I connect it to the PoE switch, it will give the internet and the light will change to green. So I'm gonna do this right away. So you take your CAT5 that you plugged in previously in the NVR and you put it in the PoE switch. And now you wait a little bit and I will also enroll my NVR to my Ajax application on your phone. So let's do this together. If you've never used Ajax, this is how all their product works. All you need to do is access your hub, do add device, and you scan the QR code that is inside the device. So scanning the QR code right now, you name it. So I will name it NVR and you add the device. So now add device, you see the request change to okay. And now you see the light is green. So now the NVR is enrolled into your Ajax application. So now I can close the enclosure to make sure everything is well secured. So as I showed previously, it's just about sliding in the cover. We push it, we hear the small click, and then carefully you flip it and you have your NVR ready. So this is how you would manually set up. So the first step to set up your NVR. Now the NVR is inside your app. So I'm gonna walk through how to set up the NVR in there. So as you can see here, it's already enrolled. You see all the features of the NVR. So the CPU, the RAM, seeing all the hard drive temperature and stuff like that. You can go inside the cogwheel to make sure you update the firmware if it's well connected. And that's most of it for the NVR. But now what we wanna do is add cameras to it. And this is the important step is to show you how easy it is to add a camera to this NVR. So as I mentioned previously, it's work with the Onviv protocol. It's also work with RTSP. So if your camera doesn't have Onviv certification, you can still unroll it and inside the Ajax NVR. So I'm gonna show you right now by picking a camera from the GSD group. So we pick a black colored camera from GSD group because the Ajax cameras that are coming in have the choice between black and white. And we have the black NVR to match with the black camera, but know that the NVR is also available in a white color. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit about the, uh, the PoE switch because as I mentioned before, the NVR itself doesn't come with a switch. So here, what we did is connect the switch to Ethernet using the gray cable. With the black cable, it is the NVR. So we plugged in in the switch to give it internet too. And now with the blue cable, we will plug in the camera to give it power over ethernet. So PoE power, and it will be on the same network as the NVR. So this is why we're doing it also to make sure that the IP are coordinate and we will see it appear inside the application. So it just make it easier for the installation all around. So we're gonna take the app again. So inside the application, you see under NVR, you have cameras. Right now it's at zero. So you click on cameras, you click on add cameras, and then it will search a nearby camera. So it will search in the same network as the NVR if there are cameras connection. So as I mentioned, now we're using the same PoE switch. So we will see one camera appear on the screen. So as you can see now, the IP camera has been found and we click on it you add the username and password. So this camera was already enrolled on another NVR. So if you know the credential, you just need to enter it here and you will have access to the camera. So let's do this right now. Perfect. You click on add and from there, the camera will be unrolled on the NVR. You are inside the camera from the NVR. As you can see, you have a timeline, you have a calendar, so you can set up the search time for any kind of playback. So if you find an event, you can go back and find it there. And what's nice about the SNVR is it pushes some analytics to the camera. 
So it uses Ajax Jet Sparrow as a protocol of communication. So it's secured the network. And you also have access to some motion detection when using your RTSP on Viv or any kind of third party cameras. So we'll go in the options by clicking on the cogwheel. Now you see your camera here. You can go back on the cogwheel for the camera. And in there, you have access to multiple settings. As I mentioned, you can go in detection, you can activate the motion detection. So in there, what it will do, similar to when you're using motion detection on another NVR, is you can build a grid, so a section on your screen to detect any kind of movement in that area. So let's do that right now. As you can see, now the whole screen is the motion detection. So when you adjust the activity here, you can draw on the screen and change the grid. So now I remove, for example, the middle of it. Makes no sense, but it's just for you to understand how it works, exactly like any kind of security system. Now I'm going to close this. You can change also the sensitivity threshold of the motion detection. So if you want it really high or really low, so to detect any kind of alarm, so you use it with this. If you go back, you also have the video stream. So what kind of codec will you be using, the resolution, frame rate, all that. As I mentioned before, this NVR comes in 8 or 16 channel. It records in 4K in 25 or 30 FPS. So the image quality is very good on there. Now, as I mentioned before, the settings for the camera, everything is accessible through the Ajax application. You can change your brightness, color saturation, sharpness, contrast of the image. You can even change the focus of your image on the camera. Now, let's focus on the timeline for a second because this is one of the important features when using the NVR, as I mentioned before. The timeline, as you can see here, is really nice because it filters out already what's happening. So by looking at the timeline, I can see that there was motion detection that was triggered uh, before, uh, like a minute ago, which was probably me in the picture. But you can select the filter right there, and inside the picture, uh, the filter, you see motion with the arrow, and you see scenario execution. So everything that happens using uh, these two features will appear on your timeline. Again, making it easier for you to find an event that occurred in the past. So now we will select motion. As you can see, there's a little dot that appear over the filter. That means that I have at least one activated in there. Now, going back in the camera, here, when you click on the three dots on the bottom right of the picture, you have access to a snap photo. So if you want to do a photo on demand using your camera, and you can also download a section of the footage. So when you're doing a playback and you want to record an event, you click on the download section, and this way it will download any footage directly to your phone. Again, super easy to use if you need to record and give this report to the police or a monitoring station, for example. Also, at the same spot, Cogwheel video quality, you can upgrade your video quality right there. Now we showed how to look for the motion detection on the timeline. The other filter I mentioned was the scenario execution. So the way it works is, I mentioned before, Ajax is a big ecosystem. It's an alarm system first, and they introduce this video solution in their ecosystem. So you can create scenarios where, for example, a motion sen sensor that you would put on your door. So I open the door, I receive a notification, and with the scenario executed with the NVR and the camera, the camera will also send you a notification. So being able to see exactly who opened the door. So the door opens and I have a look of the camera looking at this scenario specifically. Again, this would appear on your timeline and you'll be able to review it right away from the notification you receive on your phone. Another feature that is really important about this NVR is the R drive. As we mentioned before, it doesn't come included, but you have a wide variety of choice because you can add up to a 16 terabyte R drive to your NVR. And now, if using that R drive, you can go back 
in the NVR, so on the application itself, and verify the status of the hard drive. Because again, this can be a problem in the long run. So if there's a problem with your hard drive and you don't realize it right away, well, you're losing footage and you're not able to record any kind of action that is happening on your premise. So being able to review that directly on your phone and receive a notification when something happens is a huge plus value for the Ajax NVR. And we mentioned this before, but it's also using an H.265 video codec and it also can be switched to H.265. So really good for any kind of video compression. And how do you install this NVR exactly? So there is a smart bracket mount. So again, I'm careful because there is a hard drive, but with the uh, screws that comes with the NVR, you can mount it with its smart bracket on the wall. And there is a temper switch on the NVR itself. So if someone tries to remove the NVR from uh, its space, well, you will receive again a notification on your phone that someone is messing with your NVR. So you would know if something's happened to it. So it's a good way to install it to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. One thing we didn't mention about this NVR is that if you have multiple cameras, you can actually create a virtual video wall inside your application that is customizable to your need. So you're able to put each camera in each section you want to be able to review all your security video solution inside your application. Another thing is the AI Jet Sparrow. I mentioned it a little bit, but using the Ajax cameras that are coming in, you also have the ability to do AI verification for vehicle and also human detection. So big shout out to Ajax for creating, adding this to their ecosystems. I think it takes a lot of guts, especially when you're manufacturing alarms and video solution. I feel there's a lot of players right now in the game and they're still trying to innovate. So during the event itself, when I reviewed the NVR, I thought, why is there no PoE switch? So because it, it just makes it easier for the installation. But now that you think about it, they probably thought it would be easier and more flexible at the end of the day because you, you're not stuck with an NVR with four ports or eight ports. So if you want to buy a 32 port switch, you can. If you want to buy a 16 port switch, you can. So it gives you the ability to pay a set price for a great product and then do the add-ons by yourself for your own security solution. So with all that said, I cannot wait to test the camera, do another review for you guys, and let us know what you think in the comment below. See you in the next one.